Hey everybody, Model Man here with the Stargazer Orion 3. I spent the last two to three hours looking at this model, putting pieces together, figuring out where everything goes, marking out some pencil lines on the uh, base wings here. And I've decided that I will definitely light this, probably as you can tell by this wire here. But one of the things I'll be doing is running fiber optic lines out to the wingtips, green and red, one on each side. And uh, there will be some other minor fiber optics. Uh, there may be some blinking white lights, a la an airplane of modern day. And uh, just to show you how things go, the engines sit there. This is a big empty cavity, so I'm probably going to drill through here for the power and for the uh, mounting bracket. This sticks here. I have notched a line in there for fiber optics, uh, LEDs, and wires. Over here, the passenger cabin. This seat here locks into the base up there, leaving a good amount of room underneath to run wire, so there's no problem there. For that, I trenched each end so I could run lines through. However, if you'll take a look at the ceiling in there, you'll see it's a series of squares set a few millimeters away from each other. It's a familiar design if you've ever seen LED tape. So in this case, what I'll be doing is masking off each of the LED heads. Get that masking tape down nice and tight. Slicing in between each one, placing this in here soldering the LED tape in place, pasting it down, and then painting the ceiling. To do the wiring, I considered running it up along the wall, but figured that'd be too bulky and potentially visible. So I took the chance of taking whatever millimeter drill this bit is, and taking, uh, getting the best angle that I could, so that I could run the wires through to the ceiling, and this is pretty much going to be invisible once it's in place, I think. So those will be set there like that. The LED tape will run straight along the base and it's going to look nice I think. I'll dial up or down the brightness by putting a dimmer in the system so I know what voltage I want to run it at. In addition, there's also this back cabin here and the forward cabin here. And you can see in the back door there's that hole going on, unfortunately, because it was cast so thin. Now I'm going to knock that door out, put a fake room back here, because otherwise this area here opens up to this flat wall there. And I'll get back to this groove here and that groove there in a few minutes. Once that's opened up, I have some 1 1 uh, figures. I'll put a stewardess coming through the door, potentially someone sitting in the back seat. There's these front seats here, which will each have a pilot, and then there's actually the flight control piece, which gets notched in to this guy here. So your only visibility is what can be seen here, and it's not very much. However, right now there's no light in there, so it's impossible to tell how much space is really going on. So, one red LED in there for the flight deck. But, I have to watch the movie. If uh, they're in full white light, then I'll go with that. Otherwise, I'll go with a red light. Speaking of red lights, uh, in addition to running the fiber optics along the wall, if we take a look here, there's also this little notch running up in between the middle there, and one over here. So I'm going to run two fiber optics, very small ones, right up that notch. Either white or red for the tops. No. These two will be white. They may blink, they may not. Then there's two little tiny notches there. I'm going to turn those into a red and a green, representing the proper sides of the uh, red-green of the ship, left and right, starboard and port. That could be done down here. It's not in place as is. There's no obvious places. 
However, I may be doing a white LED at that little notch there and potentially one up here, which is below the passenger cabin. So there's a little bit of trenching to do along this area here to get the two millimeter fiber optic. There's a little trenching to do at the very end right there, otherwise this notch is going to help out. I'm going to have to paint all the fiber optic black so none of it gets any bleed through going on from any other colors that are nearby. And uh, yeah, we'll see where that takes us overall. Oh, and I may put a couple little tiny red fiber optics centered in there just to make it look like door locks or something same on this side as well all right so not too much has changed in the last video I realized that these wires were essentially going to go into nowhere so I wound up carving open this guy here and now that'll fit together nicely I widened the channels on the bottom here and this is still ready to go. The LED tape has been masked off precisely for just the LEDs so those should peel off nicely. Uh, first step in the directions is to put the wings together. They come in three pieces. There's one of them right there. And the reason is that these uh, projections here will actually give a little bit of space in between the wings that's a really nice detail I took the Dremel cutter wheel and ran these trenches down here this is just enough for it's just wide enough for a one millimeter fiber optic I'm not gonna glue well I probably should glue this in place I suppose that is to say no glue will touch this fiber optic but I want to leave it there to make sure this wing helps stays alignment, stays in the alignment. So the directions suggest clamping it all together, figuring out where you want it, and then just running glue on uh, the sides. The capillary action should pull it all through. I'm pretty much going to follow that advice, but do it slightly differently. And uh, I guess I may as well do that now make sure it's finally in place all right Now, just going to gently flex that. Make sure it's still in alignment. Move that guy there. And real quickly. If it'll let me. Oops. So the fiber optic still runs free, but it did get some glue on it. If not all of it, really. There's a little loose glue, so I'm going to let that dry. I don't want to maneuver this too much because I need the same clamps to do the other wing. 